Hello, I'm Amuthi Sushila and I'm the founder and CEO of Hornbill Medtech. I'm a doctor and a postdoc fellow at Harwood Medical School. And four months ago, me along with my partner Charles Clark founded this company, which now has five team members, which include Tulsi Rangan, who is a chief technology evangelist, Aputi Sushila, who is a chief technology officer, and Das Chalam, who is a chief design officer. We are very fortunate to have such a diverse background of people, which brings knowledge and expertise to our company. We proposed a device called Elaine, which is Electronic Locating Automated Interactive Nuance Equipment. We proposed it as a solution for people with dementia, especially Alzheimer's, after our success at Google Wearable Challenge 2015, where we were finalists worldwide, in a worldwide competition, we were exposed to a lot more opportunities. Everyone, before I start, I would like all of you to just close your eyes for a moment and think about what you did at 5 o'clock today before you walked in through these doors for Google Wearable Challenge. Now, what is your schedule five days from now? How many of you feel confused, lost, or blank? Our human mind is a flow of thoughts from the past to the future. And although it's a blessing to live in the moment, it is your ability to connect these thoughts that help you to be functional and productive. Fantastic. Great. Thank you, guys. We also participated in Massachusetts Life Science Innovation Award, after which we spoke to a psychiatrist of 25 years who found out that our device could be used for kids with autism, Prader-Willi syndrome, attention deficit hyperactive disorders, and brain injury. Our device is a recorder, scheduler, organizer, and locator. And more importantly, it gives peace of mind to the patient and the caregiver. Lydia, it's 6 o'clock. It's time for dinner. Come into the kitchen. Lydia, it's 6 o'clock. It's time to have dinner. Come into the kitchen. There are two ways to record into the device. One is directly into the device, wherein the patient or the caregiver can speak to the device and it will play back a concerned time or on the long distance way wherein a person can get into the website, go to their account and give the schedule which will be given into the device through the Wi-Fi. We are right now at the beta testing stage of our device wherein we are collecting data from kids as in with the applicability of our device. We are really excited to be a part of Harvard iLab.